Matthew chapter 18 and beginning at verse number one. I'm going to begin reading at verse number one through five solo. And then I'm going to ask you to join in with me with the reading of verse number six. Matthew 18, beginning at verse number one. At the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them and said, Verily I say unto you, except ye become converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. For whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name, receiveth me. Verse 6 with me, please. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. May the Lord add a blessing unto those who are not just the readers and the hearers, but the doers of God's holy and divine word. I want to close out the series that we have been so diligently engaged in, putting away childish things. There were some things that we had to get rid of in order that we might be right with God. But God is a balanced God. And when you look at the wholeness of the ministry that he has committed unto us, not only did God have some things that we needed to have put away, but then there are some things that we need to keep. There were some lessons we learned way back when that are good for us to revisit again. And so this morning we want to share with you a lesson entitled Lessons That We Learn On The Playground. Lessons That We Learn on the playground, pray with me, please. Our Father, our God, which art in heaven, yes. hallowed be thy great and glorious name. Yes. Father, we come before you acknowledging how inadequate we are mm -hmm. and how mighty and wonderful you are. Mm -hmm. We bow before your presence mm -hmm. because we reverence you upon your throne. Mm -hmm. We come as empty pitchers, seeking to be filled with the water of life. Fill us, Father, with your word, and help us to understand what you have said through the Holy Writ. Bless me as thy messenger, that I will be able to speak plainly unto your people, and bless the hearts of the hearers, that they may be open and receptive to what you have to say. Speak, Lord, and your children will hear. We give you thanks. In thy son Jesus' name, amen. amen. For the past few weeks, we have been exploring some childish things that we really need to put away from among us as maturing people of God. It is of the utmost importance that we learn to deal with one another in a way that God would have us to deal with each other because if we don't, 
Not only will we offend our brothers and sisters in Christ, but we also take the risk of offending God. God says through the mouth of the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and beginning at verse number 20, Brethren, be not children in understanding, how be it in malice be ye children, but in understanding be men. From this we gather that there are some ways of children that God wants us to implement as we deal one with another. When it comes to understanding God's will and God's word, he wants us to be men. He wants us to be mature in the way we understand our responsibility as his child in his service. He says, but when it comes to malice, when it comes to hatred and evil toward one another, God wants us to be like little non-grudge holding, forgiving children. There are some ways of a child that are useful to us as adults. It helps us deal with each other. If we all have a childlike approach in dealing with one another, here in our text we see Jesus using the example of a child to teach his disciples humility. He shows them that they are to be lowly toward each other as it pertains to who's going to be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Here in our text, the Bible says, Matthew 18, beginning at verse number one, at the same time, uh, there came Jesus' disciples unto him, saying, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? That's when Jesus called little child unto him and set him in the midst of them and said, verily, I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Mm. This word in verse number three, converted, is a very interesting word as it pertains to our study this morning. For its kinship by way of definition is also likened unto the New Testament word for repent, which means to change one's mind. The word converted in this text is similar to repent in that it means to turn to or to turn toward. Here the Lord is indicating unto his disciples that if they're going to enter into the kingdom of heaven, they must change or turn their hearts into that of a child. There is a lowly, humble Purity that a child has that God says we all must have mm -hmm. if we're ever going to spend eternity in the kingdom of heaven. Right. You will never make it into heaven concerning yourself about how great you can be in the kingdom of heaven. Right. I just thought I ought to drop that this morning and tell you it ain't all about you. Right. Amen up in here. When it comes to the Lord's business, it's about doing what he says, like he says it, in the way that God says it, if you're going to make it to heaven. That's the reason Jesus began also here at verse number four saying, whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name, the Lord says, he receives me. But watch this now. Whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck he was drowned in the depth of the sea. What is the Lord showing us here? That the way into the kingdom of heaven is through lowliness and humbleness 
of a childlike 